Attention! Although my content is usually family-friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Justice for All is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system, and as such, the videos in this Let's Play may contain blood, mild violence, and or suggestive themes. So, viewer discretion is advised. Oh! The problem I have with this piece of evidence is here. Are you seriously going with it was strawberry juice? No, no, but I'm trying to remember because we saw the cutscene like five times. Yeah. I thought that the stain was on the white part. Oh, it because... is. Okay, because the white part is in between this. This is just a coat. Right, but so I'm saying part... I thought it was only on the white part. No, it was on the side. It was on the side as well, okay. Because her body changed. Do you changed. see where it is? A whole bullet hole? Right there. Is that it? Yeah. I thought that was blood, but... I asked the court to please take a look at the sleeve of this costume. The sleeve? There's a tiny hole here. Uh, a hole? But that wasn't in the report. Hold on! What's this around the hole? It smells faintly of gunpowder. G gunpowder No one ever told me! A hole that smells of gunpowder. It looks like I found the hole I was looking for. Now I'm gonna put the key in. Your Honor, the only logical conclusion you can make is that it must be a bullet hole. Well, she's not objecting, so... It's true. Order! 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 This is a very grave matter. It's best we correct the court record first before anything else. Maya's costume updated in the court record. Yeah. Sorry about that. I guess we messed up, sir. She's like Her the opposite of face. She's the opposite of Peppermint Patty. Please stop calling me sir, yep. Is she actually smiling? What else is she hiding? Pull yourself together, detective. That tiny hole doesn't change a thing. The strength of the evidence still holds. Continue with your testimony. That just now was a fluke. Nothing more. How can you say something like that? This is a huge oversight. While I agree it is a mistake on the part of the police, what Prosecutor Von Karma has said is true. The evidence still stands. If you do not find a more definitive problem with the evidence, then... No way! Detective Gumshoe, please continue with your testimony. Yes, sir. Attack and kill a person who is without a doubt not fighting back. Oh, right. Because the, there's a bullet wound in... A bullet wound? There's bullet a wound coat. in clothing, I guess. You wounded the coat! Oh. This is my favorite shirt! <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't fighting back. How do you know if he was or wasn't? We can find no evidence that the victim put up any sort of struggle, pal. Hmm. So did the murderer have a fight with the victim or not? Depending on this, the circumstances around this murder changed drastically. Ugh. We're in real trouble now. If only I had something to prove that the victim did fight back. That Von Karma, she thinks she could decide the verdict with this testimony alone. I have to somehow find a critical contradiction and I have to have her. Oh, I have to have her! I don't have, have her! To have her. <laughs> Oops! I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> but it's great. I, 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 have, I, gotta out, I gotta figure out this thing that I have to have this girl! <laughs> Take her out for dinner. Yeah. That was the best miss mis <laughs> mis speaking words ever. There you go, that could be the title. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Clothes Maya was wearing, so you say it, it was the bullet on the sleeve that proved she wasn't. But we already put that up, and for some reason... But not at this thinking... statement. Yeah, let's try it. I I'm it's always going to do that. <laughs> Detective Dick Gumshoe. Y yes. <laughs> Having you call me by my full name is kind of a weird feeling. You said that my client killed a person who, without a doubt, was not fighting back. Yeah, I did. Then what, may I ask, is the bullet hole you police overlooked supposed to mean? Uh, um, what does it mean? I'll tell you what it means. It means that the victim had fired off a shot. Yeah, you can't hold a gun and a knife in one hand. Is this not what it means? Is this what it means to not fight back? Ah! You're right! It would seem that way. If the victim tried to shoot the defendant, then it would change everything. Alright, the wind seems to be shifting. I love this pose of Phoenix's, yeah. by the way. Huh. This with that, are you finished yet laugh. 
Are you finished yet, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Miss Von Karma? <laughs> it seems that Maya Faye was shot at by the victim. However, that is only grounds enough to support a justified self-defense plea. That is correct. But I'm sure you remember, Your Honor, what the defense clearly said. They rejected justified self-defense and pleaded not guilty. Ah! Now that you... Why, that's right. You love cracking that whip, don't you, Von Which Karma? means... The defense has yet to prove anything at all. No! Well, yes, that's true. Furthermore... She's good. Just that this is the fact that there is a bullet hole in the costume is not enough to substantiate even a plea of justified self-defense. Huh? How so? Ah! Don't just stand there. Hurry up and tell the court what transpired that day. With the new information we acquired added in, of course. Huh? You mean by myself? You want me to put together the scenario all by myself? Ah! Yes, sir! Right away, sir! Wow, this is just ridiculous. What transpired? Wow, Gumshoe's getting a lot of testimony screen time in. I forgot about that. During the channeling, the defendant saw her chance to stab the victim in the chest. Of course the victim used the last of his strength to fight back, sir. While the two were fighting, the victim took out his gun. The victim took a shot, but because they were too close, he missed. Wouldn't that mean you couldn't miss if you were too close? That's like the boat where they were like, Oh yeah, shot him point blank and then he died. And it's like, uh... <laughs> oh yeah, he missed the first shot. He missed the first <laughs> shot. They were in the boat two feet in front of each other. I forgot about that. The defendant then picked up, uh, uh, picked up on the opening, took the victim's gun, and ended it. Hmm, the scenario you have put together does make sense. Yes, sir. Well, Mr. Wright, just by listening, it does make sense. However, I won't give up that easily. But please refrain from glaring at me like that. Now then, your cross-examination, please. Cross-examine. What transpired? Well, so during the channeling, pal, hold on. <laughs> There's quite a difference in height between Dr. Gray and the defendant, and in body strength, and it seems unlikely the defendant could have stabbed the victim. Now that you mention it, yeah, I guess. Objection. You think you can get away with such flimsy reasoning, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Maya Faye was in the middle of channeling, was she not? When channeling with the Karain channeling technique, the medium physically changes. With the nurse's bill, the defendant could have easily been a match for the doctor. Yes, the prosecution is saying she did in fact channel the victim, who then killed the guy, and then they're like, Maya did it in cold blood! Um, no, she did not. Why are we having this trial? <laughs> I don't believe it. She even studied up on the Karain channeling technique. Like I said before, I am perfect. Okay, you've got a bit of an attitude and physical violence problem, Von Karma, but you are a gifted prosecutor. I gotta hand it to you. And you don't change me. Um, uh, about what you were talking about, I didn't quite get it. Um, never mind. Let's continue with the testimony. Of course the victim used the last of his strength to fight back. So he was stabbed, but the stab wound didn't kill him. But if you think about the blood loss, it was pretty bad. How bad would you say it was? Actually, I went to give blood the other day. And afterward, I felt a little lightheaded and dizzy. I guess the damage was maybe about ten times the dizziness. <laughs> ah! Sorry! Yeah, that was kind of stupid on your part, don't you? <laughs> that was, but it was funny. Where in the world did that pistol come from? It looks like the victim, Dr. Gray, had specifically bought it for that day. Wow. But a handgun? He got it off the black market about two days before the murder. So clearly this guy was not a good person. No, and I could tell that from, like, the start, which is the thing that's but annoying. Why did Dr. Gray bring a gun? Was he taking precautions against something? I'm just glad it didn't happen the way I thought it would happen. Or which he was I thought, shoot I her. thought he was just going to shoot and kill Maya completely. But I mean, you would have easily be able to tell that he didn't. Yeah. Which is, uh, but I was also like, no, you can't kill off the best characters. 
The victim took a shot, but because they were too close, he missed. So you're saying that the bullet hole in this costume was made then? Sorry, pal, but that's what I think. The two of them were already fighting when a shot was fired. Maya, I'm really glad you weren't hurt. Yes, she was. She was emotionally... Oh, she hurt. actually... That's right. But she, she didn't actually she didn't get, get, get stabbed injured. or anything. That's good. Because it basically, like, it, it's, blood it would be like if it passed through this part of my t-shirt, where the, my arm isn't. That's cool. Maya has never fired a gun before in her life. The victim had already taken off the safety. With the safety off, even an amateur like you can fire it by pulling the trigger. Even me? I wonder. There's a kickback for guns as well, so I'm trying to think about yep, that. Yep, that's true. Now do you understand? Avon Kama's logic is perfect. His testimony certainly makes us look very bad. But there's gotta be a contradiction in there somewhere. And uncovering it is going to uncover the truth. I can feel it. Alright. Know where the contradiction is? Oh, uh... I mean, it's... I don't know where it is, but I have thoughts. Please continue, because um, we need more crazy theories. No, not not theories, just like, okay, shot, the screen, slash, I'm gonna assume it's screen at, in in addition to this part of the screen. One bullet I mean, it went was through one both? One bullet went through both. Okay. I think. Otherwise, it would be, check the, check the evidence, actually, because if it's more, if it's three shots. About eight inches off the ground. Okay. That would be too short for the sleeve, unless if the sleeves are, like, journeyman sleeves. Mm -hmm. Uh, stabbed, gunpowder, gun murder powder weapon, okay, so the murder weapon, two shots were fired. Yes. And they can so, very so one tell killed Dr. Gray, the other went through the sleeve. Okay. So, Is there a chance that that could be wrong? Are you saying one bullet went through both of them and the other couldn't go somewhere else? Or that three? No, it was two shots. Okay. It could not okay. have been more than that. That's fine. Um, still haven't heard anything about the murder. There is, like, no blood on that thing. That's weird. Maybe it's all on the other side. <laughs> maybe really about Morgan was starting to watch it. Maybe, oh, shoot. Hang on. Maybe that's a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> but I need this knife for my strawberries. Yeah. Priorities, man. Um, yeah, the clothing. All of that's normal. I think. Oh, my gosh. I'm an idiot. Okay, so so the bullet hole's there. That's the sleeve. I thought there was just yeah. a wrinkle and this was just the other part. No! Oh the bullet hole's okay. the sleeve. I, I blame badge. the bad game art on it. No, just kidding. Okay. Um, do we need news? No, we don't need news. No, the newspaper's not really gonna help us here. Um. Victim missed. Oh, oh, that's right now. I don't remember where it is. Can you show me which statement it is? It's this one. Okay, that's what I thought. Took a shot. Too close. Missed. Yep. Key phrase there is that they were too close. They were shot, shot at point blank. How would you know who it was? I don't know. It's not that. It's more, look at the costume. They were too close. If they were too close, what would the hole look like? The hole would be bigger? Or the hole would be in the middle? No, no, no. So he oh. shot it from the sleeve, but remember what they said earlier? They and you're said like, there was gunpowder on it. Oh, and the burn. Yeah. You'd have the burn. But that there's the no problem. burn around it. Okay. That Why is it? really hard. Yeah, this is a tough game. Tough case as well. Tough second case. I would, uh, yeah. Missing the tiny hole in this costume will be the prosecution's undoing. <laughs> uh, eh? What do you mean? This little hole has actually created a huge hole in your testimony. Uh, explain yourself, Mr. Wright. You said the two of them were fighting when the victim fired his gun at point blank. If that were true, then where is the gunpowder burn on this costume? Gunpowder burn? This is what you testified earlier. When something is shot from point blank, a burn area is left around the bullet hole. Oh! 
But there is not a single trace of gunpowder burn on this costume. She's keeping her cool. She is. That is a very good point. And what exactly does this mean? It means that when the shot was fired, they were standing apart from each other. Hmm. I'm disappointed, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You think you can punch a hole in my logic with that? With wishy-washy thinking like that, anyone can explain anything anyway! Then I implore you to disprove my line of thinking. Let's see. In the middle of their fight, the victim pushed the defendant away. And it was then, when they were separated, that he fired. How was that? As if that was even possible. According to testimony, the wound from the stabbing was very severe. The victim would not have had the strength to push the defendant very far after that. Ooh, now she's sweating. W well, then... That's right. The defendant must have pushed the victim away. After stabbing him, she must have put some space between the doctor and herself. And then, while she was preparing to strike again, the doctor took his shot. There. That should satisfy even you. Hmm. That does make an awful lot of sense. What do you think, Mr. Wright? I must be careful. I can't afford to make a mistake here. Concentrate and think. It makes sense. Something doesn't make sense. Ugh, it's no good. I can't find a hole in her logic at all this time. I admit it. Somehow your reasoning makes logical sense. That's it. That's exactly what I wanted to hear from you, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Drat. It's 11 a.m. I've already missed my morning tea. <laughs> <laughs> Not the spa treatment. All right, that's fine. However, at least we were able to arrive at a conclusion. Hmm. It does look that way. Oh, boy. If I don't do something soon, oh no, it'll be curtains for Maya. Well then, I think we can. Your Honor, please wait. Who is that? Mr. Wright, please refrain from making unnecessary outbursts. Just instantly. I don't care how, but I must find something to go on in Von Karma's explanation. There is a fatal flaw in her argument, Your Honor. Fatal? Flaw? Yo! Very interesting. I would love to see where this flaw is. Show me something that contradicts my explanation. There has to be a snag in her explanation somewhere. She put some distance between them before rushing to make the final blow. And when she was about to strike, the doctor took his shot. But she already struck. There must be a piece of evidence that contradicts this line of thinking. Okay. Can we see the floor plans? Obviously, there's no, like, measurement on here. However, this room, given how big the people are that w went in and stuff, it's like the size of a hallway, I would almost say. Like, a very wide hallway. Yeah. There's a door. There's a little bit of room on each side. It could be a bedroom, but probably not. So, it's really hard to get enough distance that you could prevent it. Period. So I'm just trying to think of what you would be able to say that would make it... Oh, I see. That, where I'm like... Do you want to try that? We could. Say the room was too small, that, sure. that wouldn't even matter. Darn it, I'm gonna keep <laughs> doing that, because I changed the control mapping. Take a look at this! Why are you showing this to on me, pal? Prosecutor Von Karma's explanation in this piece of evidence... Do not contradict. Huh? Haha, <laughs> looks like you need to use your brain a little more, pal. Sorry. Ugh, being lectured by gumshoe of all people is so embarrassing. I thought for sure you had it right there. Come on, hurry up and get that thinking cap on. Oh. No penalty, no that's penalty. nice. Sweet. Stabbed in chest, then shot. Okay. Yep. Uh, what's the key again? That's the key to the chamber. Oh, it is? Yeah, so Maya locked the door. Okay. Now we broke down the door. Pearl, Pearl found, found it somewhere. Key. We don't know where. And now it's with us. Okay. So remember um, that. Okay. Mia said they would be important. 
Uh, I actually don't remember which piece. I was about to say, I don't know <laughs> either. <laughs> either, either. It's, it's either the folding screen or the autopsy. the autopsy, I believe. That's what I was actually thinking too, one of those. Because my thing is, if, if she, first off, if she pushed him away and he'd already been stabbed right next to the heart, I feel like that would be enough to kill him. Yeah, and he would fall over. Like, you wouldn't, he wouldn't and, be able to... And when we broke through the door, he was sitting in the big puddle of blood, and if she pushed him away from that, he'd be found far away from the blood. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Wanna try the autopsy? Yeah. Yep, sure enough, did it again. Yep, alright. Let's try the screen! This is the piece of evidence that destroys your logic. What is that? A folding screen? I would like to point the court's attention to the hole in this folding screen. Ah! It looks like you already know what I'm talking about. Who? Where? What? Mr. Wright, your explanation, please. Are these two really that clueless? I just realized my shout made her sound like a chain smoker. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she does it in her spare time. Maybe that's how she. Wait, no, she wouldn't rebel against her father. She'd be. Papa smokes, sure. Yeah. <laughs> The bullet went through the defendant's sleeve first, and then the folding screen. Maybe her rebellion- her, re her rebellion? Her rebellion is her drinking tea and her dad drinks coffee. He's like, you have to drink coffee, it soothes the soul, it's great. No, dad, I'm gonna drink tea! Yeah, I'm gonna like it. How dare you! Pencils I was looking for. Oh, oops. <laughs> I was looking for those pencils. I needed them. That makes more sense. It passed through at a height of approximately eight inches off the ground, which means... When the shot was fired, Maya, I mean the defendant, was not getting ready to strike, but was actually squatting low to the ground. I mean, if you if you had an angle upright, it could have gone from the sleeve and then low to the ground. Order, order. The, this changes everything. So it was right. Please look at the diagram of the crime scene. The victim, Dr. Gray, was here when he fired the shot. And the bullet hit this folding screen. It hit, I don't know, this location about Oh, eight she would have been bending ground. down doing her thing. That makes more sense. So the defendant was in this area at the time of the crime. She would have been, um, no. <laughs> she, she was behind him. <laughs> Really? <laughs> I want to get it wrong. Somewhere around here. Uh-oh, the judge's face is scrunched like he just smelled some serious bad We should have put breath. it on the victim's spot. Uh, um, that is, I mean... Wait, I just realized I forgot to brush this morning. Excuse me while I freshen up. Uh, sure. In the meantime, I want you to think things through again, Mr. Wright. Oh. Ah, of course. Whoops. What's done is done. For now, I should focus on where Maya was at the time of the crime. Yeah, Alright. Are you saying she was here or behind it? No, I'm saying... Or where, where do you think she was? I was saying she was kneeling, doing her thing. Here? Yeah, around there. But how? Because he would have shot her, it would have gone in a straight line towards this, and it hit here. So, she if you line up the angles, you, 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 she has to be somewhere in that line of trajectory, essentially. There's also a bullseye spot. That's where the bullet hit. Oh, okay. Sure, let's say she's around there. She was standing here, near the folding screen. Wait a second! We know the defendant was close to the ground based on the height of the bullet hole. But, how can you gauge the distance from that? Oh, she's getting mad. <laughs> Isn't it possible that the defendant was standing much closer to the victim? That's impossible. Why? You of all people should know the answer to that question, Miss Von Karma. If she were shot from somewhere else closer, there would be gunpowder burns present. However, there is nothing of the sort around the bullet hole of this costume. Ah! Curse you, Mr. Phoenix Wright! You! Hmm... I believe it has now been proven that... The defendant was standing away from the victim when she was shot at. But do you think this has changed the defendant's situation? It doesn't change anything. It changes everything. Honestly, you gotta say the stupid yeah. one first, for hilarity's sake. Hmm, even with that explanation, it feels like nothing has changed. But I can't give up just yet. Oh, never mind. Honestly, Your Honor, this changes everything! The prosecution has claimed that the, 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 the defendant was aiming to kill by stabbing. 
If that were true, delivering the final strike with the knife would be ideal. However, where and what was the defendant doing at the time? Squatting all the way by the folding screen? Exactly. If Maya Fey was the real murderer, why would she be by the folding screen instead of preparing to strike? Yeah. Upon further consideration, it does make very little sense. Yeah, I figured there had to be a reason. Figuring things out and proving the logic behind everything is your job! Oof. Alright, with this the rest of the trial should be in the ba- Blast radius of disaster. You are such a smart man, Mr. Phoenix Wright. To think that you've been able to take a completely hopeless case to this point. Now I know why Papa had a tough time with you. Hmm, you amuse me. Ugh, of all the things to inherit, why did it have to be that <laughs> now smarmy I've got, smile? Now I've got that Legend of Korra thing that is stuck in my head, where it's like, oh, you use me, I'll make you mine. You mean like a boyfriend or like a slave? Yes. <laughs> like, that was April. Es from, Eska, from was, <laughs> Eska, Eska was a really <laughs> creepy character. I, I, she was kind of funny, though. Yeah, but... Yeah. <laughs> Detective, how dare you damage my perfect logic? Huh? How is this all my fault? You can start repairing your stand from... You can start repairing your standing by first removing the three-strand goatee. Oh, and rest assured, your punishment will come later. P punishment Well then, Your Honor, I think I've had all I can take of this detective's face. I think it's time to call in the next witness. Next witness? That's gotta be Lada. Very well. The court will take a five-minute recess. After we reconvene, we will hear from the next witness. And at last, we can have a normal-length episode! Yay! Yay! Thanks for watching, everybody! Told you the trial period would be pretty interesting, huh? Bet you yeah. didn't think you'd be voicing yet another character? I'm happy. <laughs> I'm so happy. Yes, tune in next time. We're hearing from Lotta Heart, y'all! <laughs> or, that's not my Lotta voice. Hey, y'all! Lotta Heart here. <laughs> that's, uh, I was about to say, I'm like, that sounded like Old Bag. Old bag. Old bag. <laughs> Wendy Old Bag. Yeah. Anyhow, tune in next time for more testimonies. Until we meet again, have a great day and God bless.